It's World Down Syndrome Day and advocates, children with the disability and their families joined West Virginia Governor Jim Justice at the state capitol for an announcement. Justice signed into law two bills that will directly affect members of the Down Syndrome community. 13 News reporter Lane Ball joins us now with the details, Lane. Rob, Merrily, Senate Bill 468 and Senate Bill 647 were designed to protect the health and well-being of individuals with disabilities like Down syndrome. With these signed into law, this will not only affect the people who, pre who were present today, but future generations as well. Monday, Governor Jim Justice signed Senate Bill 468 or the Unborn Child with Down Syndrome Protection and Education Act Bill into law. Justice surrounded himself with a crowd of advocates, children with Down syndrome, and their families to witness the event. The law prevents medical professionals from performing abortions solely for the reason a child could be born with a disability, such as Down syndrome. Statewide nonprofit organization West Virginians for Life, Advocates for Pro-Life, also attended the signing event. The organization's president says she believes this is just the first step in their journey. In this state, the pressure is really on parents to abort these babies, and we believe that this eugenically driven effort needs to be curbed, and we believe that our bill will help to do that. The second bill signed into law, Senate Bill 647, also affects those in the disabled community. The bill states health care providers will not be able to deny a person access to an organ transplant solely because they are mentally or physically disabled. I spoke with the executive director of the Down Syndrome Network of West Virginia, Ashley Orndorf, whose eight-year-old daughter was diagnosed with Down Syndrome. She says before this bill was signed into law. That's a terrifying thing to think about that just because my daughter has a chromosome disorder doesn't mean her life is any less valuable or she's any less worthy of an organ than somebody who doesn't have an extra chromosome. Regarding all fellow West Virginians with Down syndrome, Justice says they are such wonderful, wonderful gifts to all of us. It was a great honor to be able to sign these bills into law. And I did reach out to several pro-choice organizations for a comment, but have not heard back yet. Reporting in Huntington, Lane Ball, 13 News.